Okay, so let's see what we were doing before. We were here. So we wrote down S matrix element and we expressed it as a, apart from these uh, constants as a product of these um, these factors which vanish when k1, k2 these are on shell so that k1 square is equal to mp square and this becomes 0 okay, and same is true for other momenta as well. And then we had a Fourier transform of Green's function okay, with these arguments. Okay, this is an m point m plus n point Green's function and we um, understand that this is this S matrix element is going to be non-zero only if the G tilde here contains poles in k square plane. So, if you have terms like k square minus k 1 square minus m p square then this pole will get cancelled and similarly other poles will get cancelled if G tilde has such poles. And in fact, it should because uh, this S matrix element should not be 0, otherwise there is no scattering. Okay? So, that is the expectation and that is uh, what we wish to now uh, figure out. So, let us start by looking at the most general structure of this um, G tilde. I have put um, momentum labels as Q1 to Qn. Okay, I am looking at this for uh, any G1 to Gn, oh, sorry, Q1 to Q, Qn. And let me also remind you what G tilde is. Okay, this is just the Fourier transform. of the Green's function in the coordinate space. So, I transform each coordinate, each x i okay, and the conjugate variable to that is q i. Okay, so, let me begin by taking a specific example. of Green's function in 5 to the 4 theory, which we are um, at present considering, but whatever I say will apply to any endpoint Green's function and in any theory. Okay, so, I will take specifically 4 point function. conclusions will be applicable in the gen in, in a general theory. Okay. So, uh, let us draw some diagrams which contribute to G tilde 4. Okay. <coughs> so, diagrams that contribute are the following. So, that is the lowest order diagram. Then we have this diagram and then many others. Okay. Then we also have these kind of diagrams. and another diagram is this. Okay, I am arranging the diagrams in a particular way, but um, as we have learned before, we have to draw all possible diagrams, okay? but I am just doing uh, some arrangement of this. 
and one more set I want to draw. Again, they are infinite diagrams, okay, uh, because you have to consider all terms of uh, order lambda to, to the n, where lambda n goes to infinity. Okay, so we have this now. If you write the expressions, see, let's look at this first um, column. If you write the expression. Let me first label the momenta. Okay, and the same thing here. It's also Q one, and similarly Q two and others. Okay, and same thing here. So Q one enters here. Okay. So, when you write down this diagram and for G, uh, the expression of this diagram for G tilde, you will write um, you will write I over. So, you can visit the first part of this course and you will find that this is what we should write Q 1 square minus M square plus I epsilon times the remaining part of the diagram. <coughs> okay. When you come to the next diagram, it will have the form I over Q1 square minus M square plus I epsilon times th there is the propagator here this propagator okay then you have this bubble and for a bubble you should write down the uh, contribution so contribution from the bubble okay and times you remember you'll have momentum conservation at each vertex so the momentum that flows in this propagator is also q1 so, you will have again I over Q 1 square minus M square plus I epsilon times remaining parts of this diagram and you see the remaining parts of this diagram are exactly the same as the remaining parts of this diagram. So, let me write remaining parts of the diagram. Okay. And remember, when you are looking at the remaining parts of the diagram, for example, let us look at this first diagram. Okay. What is the expression of this? You have propagator for each of um, these lines and then you have vertex, vertex which is minus i lambda over 4 factorial okay. and then you should supply 2 pi to the 4 delta 4 q 1 plus q 2 plus q 3 plus q 4 that is the total. Uh, momentum uh, moment this that is the delta function which conserves the uh, momentum and then you also have to multiply with the combinatoric factor okay so this remaining parts of the diagram contain vertex combinatoric factor times 2 pi to the 4 delta 4 of q1 plus q2 plus q3 plus q4 and the same is true for this uh, this also. Okay, let us look at the third one. Third one will also have exactly the same form as above. Instead of contribution from bubble, you will have contribution from this diagram, uh, okay, this, this part of the diagram. And so, similar thing, I do not want to write it again. And then for the last one, 
you will have here three propagators one coming from here second propagator again coming from here which will also have a momentum q 1 flowing into this and this one will also have a momentum q 1 flowing into this and that is the case because we have momentum conservation at each vertex <coughs> and, and these are loops right they involve only uh, dummy loop momentum. So, there is no other momentum flowing in. So, this entire line will have um, I mean these three propagators will have q 1 flowing into them okay? and you will multiply these three propagators and contributions coming from this bubble and this uh, loop diagram and then times the remaining diagram which also includes combinatoric factor. Now, if you sum up the first column, okay, you will get you can factor out i over q 1 square sorry you can factor out the remaining parts of the diagram okay, because all of these the way I have organized all these four diagrams have identical contribution. Uh, for the remaining parts of the diagram which I have written here. Okay. Now, look at this second column it has roughly the same it has the same structure I have that is how I have arranged everything. The only difference is that the remaining parts of the diagram here is different compared to the first column, okay. but other than that what happens on these external legs is identical. Okay. So, you can um, see that the, the general structure that you are going to get is of the following form. So, this is my <coughs> g tilde let us look at This is G tilde q 1, q 2, q 3, q 4, okay? 4 point function. So, I denote uh, it like this. Now, this is equal to <coughs> I am looking at let us look at the first line, first leg okay, in which momentum q 1 is entering. When I factor out all this, we have contribution from this leg, we have, contrib sorry, we have contribution of this kind, of this kind, of this kind and this kind multiplying the entire diagram. Okay? And the same is here identical. So, if you sum up these 8 diagrams, then you see that you can factor out um, this I 1 i over q 1 square minus m square plus epsilon times these 3 factors. Okay. And then remaining parts of the diagram will be a series expansion in which the first term will be just minus i lambda times 2 pi to the 4 delta 4 coming uh, uh, momentum conserving delta function coming from here together with the combinatoric factor plus uh, contribution coming from here which will have these two vertices again uh, momentum conserving delta function and its corresponding combinatoric factor. So, the structure would be of this form. Okay, this is what we can uh, see from the foregoing discussion. Okay. And this contains the remaining parts of the diagram this is what is remaining parts of the diagram. And of course, you have sum over all the diagrams. Okay? We have to sum over all sum, uh, I should write sum. Okay? And what is that sum? That sum is, that sum contains 
this vertex then this diagram here and if I had drawn another one let us say this one then it will contain this remaining part of the diagram. So, let me draw one more it will help to understand. Okay, you see here also I can put exactly this. So, this is also a possible diagram in G tilde. So, that is how I am arranging everything. Okay. And of course, then you realize that there is nothing special about first leg I can do the same thing on all legs meaning I can look at also the contributions of this kind. Well, let us start with the lowest order diagram. So, you could have a bubble here, you could also have a bubble here okay. and also this, there is also this diagram of course okay, and all possibilities. So, you see that if we go through the argument which told us that we should have uh, uh, I mean structure should be of this form where this contains all corrections on a single line. Okay. These are all corrections on this q 1 line okay, here, here. So, all those corrections I am including uh, in this by and, and all those corrections are denoted by this blob. Okay. So, this blob uh, contains all the corrections and if I repeat the argument then it is clear that I should be then I should be able to write it as this. Okay, where this contains now not the contribution from all the remaining parts of the diagrams I mean that is true, but this contains these kind of parts. What goes into this let me call this as G tilde amp and of course, with the same arguments. Okay, amp is a short form of am amputated. Okay, and to amputate means to cut off the limbs. So this part is what you get off, get by uh, uh, get after you have removed all the limbs. Okay, let's see what it means. So G tilde amputated contains contribution coming from this. From this vertex, this vertex. Okay. So, first term will be just this vertex, then this, this and so forth. Okay. So, what is um, how do we understand this? So, you see here G tilde amp the way we have um, arranged everything it does not contain um, any line which you cut uh, I mean after, uh, upon uh, which upon cutting will give you an external point removed from the diagram. Okay. So, here for example, if you look at this, let us look at this one. There is no line in this which upon cutting can isolate any external point. So, let us say I want to isolate this point. Okay, let us say this point. Is there any uh, point which I can uh, which uh, any line which I can cut to isolate this? Well, yes, there is one. If you cut here, then this gets isolated, this becomes um, this times the remaining diagram, but that that is not what goes into the amputated diagram right. What goes into the amputated diagram is this. Now, let us look here. Is there any line which you can cut to isolate this this point? No, there is none. Okay, that is how it has been arranged. 
So, you see all um, the diagrams that enter into g tilde are amputated have a property that upon cutting any single line you cannot isolate an external point. Okay? So, for this g tilde these are external lines external lines and you can say this is an external point you cannot remove uh, you cannot isolate this external point by cutting any one single line okay that's important it's, it should one it should be about one point or uh, uh, one line you cannot cut one line okay so that's the structure and this contains all the corrections to the external leg and similarly here and here and here Okay, so let me just write down one time again the the expression for G tilde. How do I get rid of this? Yes. So G tilde amputated. Okay or in short amputate amp is equal to a contribution did I write it already no will be like this this that is order lambda term then this is an order lambda square term ok then of course you have other diagrams which you have seen in the previous course. Okay, I will not put the labels q1, q2, q3 and q4, you understand what I am writing because we have drawn these diagrams several times in the previous course <coughs> and also let me draw one more here. Okay. And here let me write down the expression for this. This term will have minus i over lambda 4 factorial times 2 pi to the 4 delta 4 and then you have combinatory factor which will be 4 factorial right there are 4 factorial uh, ways in which you can get this plus order lambda square terms okay. this contributes to lambda square this contributes this also contributes to lambda square this contributes to lambda 4 and so on. Okay, let me try to explain why you have a 4 factorial here. See after all we are just writing these diagrams rearranging them in a particular way. So, look at this one this had a 4 factorial multiplying it right because that is the combinatorial factor and once I have written it as a product of limbs and where limb is for example, this limb is giving 1 over q square minus mp square similarly these ones where should I include the 4 factorial factor. So, that I am including in the amputated Green's function okay? in the amputated Green's function g tilde amp and not in the external lines okay? because that will not be convenient. So, those factors are in here. Okay. So, now let us um, analyze this in more detail and we will write down the precise form of uh, this green function as product of these um, external leg corrections and the amputated Green's function. Okay. That is our next task to have a precise um, expression for it but we have what we already understand what it should be like based on this discussion.